How are we doing today? It's just Stipe back here to do another pre-workout review. Um, for today, I've got Dragon's Breath. It's Dragon's Breath Black, and it's by a company called Red Dragon Nutritionals. Now, this is a company that I've bought their protein powder before, um, which I'll probably end up reviewing soon. I don't believe I've actually reviewed that. And then I've had their fat burning formula, um, which I've reviewed as well. Um, I actually liked it quite a bit. Flavors were great, effects were great. You know, it's quite a well-rounded fat burning formula. Um, for their Dragon's Breath Black, which these are the little sachets that I've got, so I don't actually have a full top. I like it when I can get shit like this because I can try it a few times, give you an honest opinion and not have to spend fucking multiple hundreds of dollars on it, you know, products all the time. Um, so let's go through first the flavor. There's grape lemonade, cola lemonade, green cordial, and blue clouds is the flavor. The one that I tried a few times was the cola lemonade. Very solid flavor. Absolutely no issues you'll have with it. And you don't really need to put a lot of water with it because it's only 8.7 grams for a serve. So I think it was like 220 mils to 250 I was putting. I like a little bit more water usually. And yeah, it's a good tasting uh, pre-workout. Much better than your standard pre-workout that you buy from, you know, God knows where. I haven't tried other flavors, so I can't comment on them. But everything I've tried from Dragons or Red Dragon Nutritionals has been pretty damn solid. Like in terms of flavor, you're not really going to get anything awful. Now, let's go through the ingredients panel. I'm not gonna explain everything. I'm just gonna kind of maybe mention the main components. You've got glycine at 1.1 grams, betaine and hydrous at one gram, nitrosogene at 500 milligrams, l at 400 milligrams. Uh, none of these are at a very high dosage or your standard dosage, but I don't think, for instance, with nitrosogene and betaine and hydrous, they're exactly going for like a pump or a power output. I just think it's maybe helping for a little bit of blood flow, helping shuttle in everything. Uh, then you got what the whole point of this is, and that is caffeine and hydrous at 350 milligrams, English walnut fruit extract at 200 milligrams, bitter orange at 60 milligrams, and Horton HCL at 25 milligrams. You got a couple of the vitamins, the B12s, etc. but I'm not gonna go through that. That's not what you're here for. Um, I actually think the whole point of this product is obviously, it's just a stim package. Um, not a crazy stim package, but like a few times a week, a stim package. I wouldn't use this obviously too often because English walnut fruit extract is not something I believe you should be taking all the time. I mean, nor do I believe that 350 milligrams of caffeine is something you should be taking all the time. But yes, this is not designed to be the crazy nootropic and this is not designed to be a pump formula. In fact, it's essentially got nothing for pumps. And going into effects, yes, this really will not give you a pump. This is not gonna make you go, fuck, you know, I'm really noticing this red dragon's fucking dragon's breath black. No, it's not. But what I will say is for the price you'd be paying, which is like $55 to $60 for a 30 serving tub, in, that's in Australian as well. You know, that's really, really nice for the money you're paying. Now, obviously, they don't have eight grams of citrulline, they don't have you know, glycosides, et cetera, agmatine sulfate, NO3T, those type of ingredients. So yes, they're saving money on the product, but if your aim is to get just a nice big energy burst, something like this is obviously an option. Um, the energy on this is actually very solid. It's medium level of energy that's consistent. Um, the sweat on it is very nice and the continuation of all the ingredients mixing in nicely for say an hour and a half really works well. The English walnut is a bit of a hit and miss ingredient for me. Like sometimes I find it's really good and then sometimes I find it just does nothing. This one, you can tell it is the actual ingredient. I liked it. Um, I could notice that hint of euphoria, you know, hint of well-being. That's what English walnut is meant to do if it's in there. If it's not, then you just don't feel nothing, obviously. Uh, the nootropic elements are also decent, even though it's obviously not got fucking, you know, alpha GPC, lion's mane, etc. But I think the English walnut and the caffeine and hydrous, plus, you know, holding in a bit of orange, do help give a bit of a nootropic feel. It's a feel good. You get warm, you get into the workout type of feeling. Now, who do I think this is for? 
I think this is for somebody that either is doing, you know, HIIT training with their weights, um, maybe boxing, cardiovascular based activities, because it's a bit of a jack of all trades. Yes, you can use this for the gym. Um, yes, you can stack it because obviously if you do like a beta alanine non-pump, uh, non-stim formula, you can stack it with that. Um, there's nothing really bad about this product. Is it the best steam package you'll ever get? Of course not. Like it's not even really close to that, but it's not something that has a negative element to it. You know, when you think of some of the legendary steam packages, the Assassins, the Excelsiors, the Preface KOs, Crack Crack Gold, you name them, there's a million of them. R the Russian pre-workout. Yes, they're great, but obviously there's a taxing element to it where if you want to take Excelsior four times a week, not a good idea. Same with Assassin, same with any of them. This you can take three times a week. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but you could and you get away with it. And it still does the job. You still feel good. You still have energy. Um, is this the first thing I'd try to pull out as a pre-workout? No, but in certain aspects, this would be a contender. Like as an example, say I want to do boxing training and I'm looking for just a hint of energy. I've had a tough day at work. Yeah, this is quite nice. Um, this will get the job done. Coupled with the fact that it's got decent flavor, which it's not talked about enough in my opinion, but a shit flavor when you do cardio-based activities is not fun because there is a potential for feeling a bit icky and ill because you're still tasting that flavor. And if you're going for a long run, as sometimes I do a hard bike session, etc., the last thing you want is an aftertaste of awfulness. This does not have that. This is nice. This is enjoyable. Um, there's really not much else to it. It's a simple pre-workout, but it gets the job done. It's not like, a, you know, you try and you go, is this just a cup of coffee? No, it's better than a cup of coffee. It's better than two cups of coffee. It's better than an energy drink. And for the price you're paying, it's fucking solid, man. Like, you're really not going to, like, hate the product. That's for sure. Um, alrighty, that's my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We've got a bunch more stuff coming out. See you in the future. Peace.